The first metabolic misconception is that proteins are a good source of energy. To derive energy from proteins, they should be first catabolized to produce carbon skeletons, and then carbon skeletons will produce uh, either glucose or ketone bodies, and then the latter two can produce energy through their catabolism to CO2. Dietary proteins are an important source of amino acids, primarily used to rebuild cellular proteins, as well as synthesize specific molecules like nucleotides, catecholamines, hemes, and other nitrogen-containing molecules. Excess dietary amino acids can be used as a source of energy through their catabolism to produce carbon skeletons. These carbon skeletons can then be used to make glucose or fat molecules like fatty acids, cholesterol, and ketone bodies. Most amino acid carbon skeletons can be used to synthesize glucose, which in turn can be further catabolized through glycolysis, pyruvate dehydrogenase, and the TCA cycle to produce energy. However, the energy output from catabolism of glucose synthesized from amino acids is about 32% less than catabolism of glucose derived from carbohydrates. Therefore, glucogenic amino acids converted to glucose are a less efficient source of energy than glucose derived from carbohydrates. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.